Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made cum paste wine bottle cake. First, we're gonna start with cum paste wine bottle. You can make this bottle weeks ahead, but minimum, I would suggest that you give yourself at least three days for the gum paste to dry. Cover the bottle with plastic wrap and then uh, you want to generously coat the bottle with cornstarch. Have your gum paste ready. I colored my gum paste with black food coloring. If the gum paste is very stiff, you can also microwave it for a couple seconds to soften it up. And now you can roll it out. I didn't want the bottle to be really bulky, so I rolled it out into a thin layer. And then you can lift it up and place it on top. And using your hands, gently press the gum paste into the bottle so it conforms to the shape of the bottle. Here I'm trimming the bottle, uh, I'm trimming the, I'm trimming the gum paste. I'm going about halfway down. You can also use scissors or a sharp knife. Here is a closer look. As you see, I'm about halfway down. So once the bottle dries, the gum paste dries, you're gonna have half of the bottle. Try not to mess with the bottle when it's drying so you don't uh, alter the shape. Once dry, you'll be able to lift it up. And now we can decorate the outside. First, I'm gonna cover the areas that I don't want to airbrush, so that's the neck and also the area where the label is gonna be. Uh, the reason I'm covering this area is that I didn't want any food coloring from airbrush, black food coloring to seep through the label, and then you can airbrush it with black food coloring. Here is the label. So I don't have a printer, so I took this to a local grocery store and bakery printed this on an edible uh, frosting sheet. So you just have to cut it out. It has a backing paper, so before you apply it onto the bottle, you have to remove the backing, pa backing, uh, backing paper. I'm using piping gel, and then you can just put the label on. Sorry, it didn't record for me for some reason. So that's why you didn't have the video there, but you get the idea. For the neck, I colored some gum paste with burgundy food coloring. And then brush it with some water. This way the gum paste will stick to the bottle. And then you can trim it. Let it dry for about 20 minutes until the surface is a little dry and then we can um, use um, some gold edible solution. I'm using color mist. You can also use luster dust, gold luster dust mixed with some vodka. Color mist is not as thick as luster dust or basically you can really control how thick it is so you may have to do several applications. I just uh, ran out of gold luster dust I only had yellow, so I didn't want to use yellow, so that's why I optioned for this. So once you're done with painting all the details, you can just set this aside and we can move on and make the gum paste crate panels. Again, I suggest that you make these at least three days before your cake assembly or you can also make these uh, weeks ahead. I'm just going to rub some Crisco on my hand. Make sure you wear the gloves, this way you protect your hands and they don't get a food dye on them. If you don't have airbrush, I suggest that you use marbled gum paste. This will give it a more natural look. I'm gonna be airbrushing, so it didn't really matter for me. 
and then uh, you want to roll the piece on a piece of wax paper that you dusted with some cornstarch you're gonna need two long panels and two short panels to make the crepe to make the wood grain texture I'm using embossing mat you can find a link on where I cut the one that I use down below in the description area Now you have to let it dry, don't forget to make uh, additional panels that you have to make, you have to make three more panels. Once dry we can airbrush it, I'm uh, using uh, brown airbrush color. So here are all the components, all the components that we need for the cake, well, and we also need a cake. So for the cake, uh, I used my pound cake. You can find a recipe for the pound cake I like to use in my in my other video. If you have a full sheet cake pan, you can use that. Or uh, I'm using nine by thirteen cake pan, and then uh, we're just gonna trim the top and bottom. And then also, uh, if you like a lot of layers, I like a lot of layers, so I also tore the, each layer in half. And then I'm using uh, simple sugar syrup. And I'm just gonna trim this, and I'm gonna use the trim portion to build up the cake so it's a little longer. Here is what it looks like. I also made a cake board. You can make your own cake board. And I decorated the cake board with um, some ivory gum paste again. I applied a little bit of royal icing for the glue. And then we can quickly airbrush it to give it more natural look. Again, if you don't have airbrush, you just need to do marbled, marbled um, gum paste. I'm also using gold mist spray to give it a nice sheen. And now we can put the crate panels. I'm starting with a long crate panel. You want to start with the long ones? And I'm using uh, buttercream to attach it to the cake. And you just have to repeat on the other side and then put the short panels. I'm going to be using roasted coconut, sweetened roasted coconut. You need to preheat your oven to 325 and then roast it for about 10 minutes or so. Make sure that you check on it frequently so you don't over brown it. You want the wood shavings or your coconut to have a natural look of wood shavings. So once you're ready to assemble the cake, you need to put the bottle onto the top and then use cooled roasted coconut to fill in the gaps 
coconut works really great as a filler but it also hides any imperfections and it tastes great too alright so now you've finished and your cake is all done I hope you liked this video tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to Hanielas on YouTube and you'll get all the video updates delivered to you via email. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.